asthma exacerbation in the ER. So basically, let's say that the child comes with shortness of breath and on examination, there is wheeze and bronchi, right? So what are you going to do? It's an asthma ex um, exacerbation or you can also call it airway hyperreactivity. We do not label it as asthma until six years. Before that, we call it airway hyperreactivity because it usually settles on its own. So first of all, you're going to go for nebs with ventolin okay now go for nebs with ventolin salbutamol almost three times with a gap of 20 minutes it still doesn't work then you're gonna go for adrenaline um according to weight you can say one mg per kg and this is going to be given im and almost three times with 20 minutes gap each dose and with the first adrenaline three doses right with the first you're going to give solucortive injection 10 mg per kg now you have done this you have done this usually it settles up till here but if it still doesn't settle, then you are going to go for, um, after giving adrenaline, you are going to go for uh, terbutaline. And terbutaline is also given subcutaneously according to the weight of the patient, three times, okay. And now within this regime, if you feel like the patient is getting severe, usually after this you give magnesium sulfate, but you can, sh um, magnesium sulfate bolus, but you can give it anywhere over here, okay. You can give it at any time if you feel like that the symptoms are not being controlled.